So uh, about six months ago, started looking around and um, bought an SKS and uh, some fun at the range and decided that um, maybe I would start going there more often as kind of a hobby and I had never decided to, actually decided not to actually get a handgun just because of all the rules up here in Canada and <clears throat> it just seemed like it was just not worth the hassle and, but I started um, uh, going to the range with my friends who had handguns and it was fun. So. Um, when I came across this, which is a uh, Tokarov TT33, see it's clear, because we're so worried about my safety, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so I saw this, it was 230 bucks, and um, started looking, did some research, found out a lot of people really like them, and um, decided that I would pick one up, 230 bucks, can't go wrong, right? So picked one up, found a lot of uh, videos on these guns in on YouTube and one in particular had these uh, really cool rubber grips from Serbia and decided I would get one so I bought it actually before I got the uh, Tokarev and because it took like about a month to come in the mail so it showed up about the same time so after I got this I, um, I brought it home and basically the hand grip came in within like a few days so before I even shot it I actually uh, took it all apart and installed the uh, grip. Basically just wanted to uh, make sure that I wasn't getting used to the handgun um, without the grip and it seemed to work pretty good. So uh, it was easy to install. Um, you can see we just uh, notched out the um, the uh, lanyard loop uh, on the um, on the handle and a few other t um, minor uh, adjustments. So. But one thing I noticed is that, this is what they said in the video, is that the um, TT33 magazine is actually one round short of the M57, which is what this grip is made for. So um, I didn't think it was going to be too much of a problem. Brought it to the range for the first time, and uh, the magazine was getting stuck a little bit, and I was having trouble getting it out. So I... Now to these, this is actually a hockey puck, or part of a hockey puck. Because um, when you drop a magazine, it's nice to have a little bit of bounce on it. And um, so I contact cemented it on there, and it's on there really good. And now it works awesome. It sticks out like that. Could make it fancy and come out where you can grab it more, but now I have a good base to um, to pull the magazine out if I need to or whatever. And yeah, so now it comes out nice and easy. So another thing I did was I also went and got some nail polish. So you can see here, um, one of the complaints about the Tokarov were that the sights were hard to see because they're all black. It's a battle gun, right? It's not for competition shooting. So I got some nail polish and it works really good. Really good. I also put it on my SKS and my 22 as well. And love it. It's great. Nice and cheap. It cost me about 10 bucks for both. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's about um, all the upgrades I'm probably going to do. I'm not going to put a scope on it or anything like that. I did find a rail that goes on here, actually. Um, there's only one seller. I believe it's um, RN Rail, I think it is. Uh, there's only one on eBay. They don't ship to Canada, of course. Um, basically, they just screw on. Uh, you have to get it probably machined um, uh, to get it attached. But you can put a uh, red dot on there, which is great. I decided against it myself. Also more popular is uh, the magnetic one that fits right in front of the trigger guard. Um, that one's easier to find, um, and you put like a laser on it or something. But um, yeah, after a lot of searching, I did find these uh, accessories for the Tokarov TT33. And yeah, so I'm happy with the way it is. Um, it needs to um, uh, smooth it up. I believe the action's actually caught on something. So um, when it comes back, it kind of rubs on something, so it's not as uh, uh, smooth. You can see it there. Anyway. So, and I believe it's actually where the, um, uh, the fire and pin housing actually rubs up against the um, uh, um, action. So as the slide comes back. But uh, besides that, it works great. Um, I was having problems coming all the way back and grabbing another shell. I believe that's because there's just a bit too much resistance there somewhere. I put some oil on it, um, freed it up enough to uh, um, for it to actually like work pretty good. So still a little bit of work to do on it, 
love the gun. It's great. Um, yeah, awesome. Definitely recommend one. <laughs>